Welcome to the official personality guru. When it comes to flirting, ISTJs do more to show their interest than meets the eye, whereas ISFJs tend to create a pleasant ambience within their space to attend to their partner's sensory needs. ISTJs will meet their love interests' functional needs. ISTJs are systematic thinkers with a clear skill set in fixing problems like malfunctioning technology or miscalculated budgets. This skill set transfers quite easily into the romance realm. STJs are logical and practical people and believe in following the facts rather than their emotions. They don't want to fall into allowing feelings to control their actions. But that doesn't mean ISTJs don't care about their loved ones or have a desire to find a romantic partner to share their lives with. For the ISTJ, dating is not something they do casually. And so, they often have the intention of finding someone to commit to, not just something which is meant for the present moment. ISTJs are often viewed as flirtatious people, so their way of flirting can be confusing to some. Just because they don't flirt in the way people expect doesn't mean the ISTJ doesn't have ways of showing when they are interested in someone. Today, let's talk about ISTJ flirting and dating and how to attract an ISTJ. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the official personality guru and to ring the bell icon to get regular updates on our latest uploads. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. ISTJs are hardworking and dependable partners who are committed to making their relationship work. They aren't the most expressive of their emotions but see the utmost importance in honoring their commitments to their partners. ISTJs highly respect the institution of marriage and tend to fit into their traditional gender roles, where ISTJs males become the family's breadwinners. While ISTJ females see their role as the maintenance of the household, they are traditional and expect things to be done in a certain way. In the household, they would like to keep their things organized in fashion and give clear standards to their partners and children about things that should be done around the house. For example, they expect their partners to keep their shoes in a certain way, or tidy up and organize their desks with a particular system. More spontaneous partners may find this trait suffocating. Even as they appreciate the neat household, they get to return to all the time. ISTJ's strong respect for the facts helps them be accurate or right most of the time. However, in a relationship, ISTJs may compromise intimacy. Feeling partners who desire compromise or sensitivity from them may not get it, and instead find themselves facing a brick wall of correctness many of the time. As a result, ISTJs unwittingly damage their partner's self-esteem in their bid to be right. And even though ISCJs don't show emotions, they want to be appreciated by their partner for their practical contributions to the relationship and the household. Being introverted, they are happy to work behind the scenes without recognition, but love it when their partners acknowledge them for their selfless sacrifice. Partners can appreciate them with thoughtful gifts, words of affirmation, or practical acts of service. ISTJs are also extremely careful with their finances. They're usually the chief finance officers of the household, budgeting for today's needs and tomorrow's commitments. They avoid spending beyond the necessary, often opting to live a simpler life. It's not to say they don't love a luxury item or two. They do. However, they're careful to ensure that these wants never impede their ability to provide for themselves and their loved ones. ISTJ when flirting ISTJs are often much more direct and when they are interested in someone, they aren't afraid of showing it. They might not flirt and jest in the way so many others do, but the ISTJ will ask plenty of questions. They want to know more about someone when they are interested in them romantically. And so, they will show this curiosity. The ISTJ will also ask if this person is single or involved, which is an obvious sign that they are interested in them. ISTJs just aren't naturally giddy people and don't believe in flirting by being emotionally and over the top. They want to be more direct and find the best ways of getting to know someone better. They will learn about them from friends and even directly. But 
the STJ wants to uncover the important information about this person so they can be sure they should attempt to date them. They want to know if they would make a good match, as ISTJs do approach things from a practical sense. ISTJs are not likely to flirt with someone or show interest unless they are serious about them. They don't like leading people on or making it seem like they want to be with them when they are unsure. ISTJs believe in being sure about things and taking action with intention. This is why they become frustrated with people who flirt shamelessly, without caring about what they are doing. ISTJs don't consider friendly behavior or jesting with friends to be flirtatious, though and find it silly when people assume that it is what it is. ISTJ when in a relationship When the ISTJ is in a relationship, they take this commitment seriously and won't simply enter into it without intending to make it work. When the ISTJ is with someone, they want to be sure they can do whatever it takes to make their lives work together. They will go out of their way to help their partner achieve their goals and solve whatever problems they might have. ISTJs are very supportive of their loved ones and want always to be loyal and stand by their side. ISTJs are naturally very dependable people, especially when it comes to their relationships. They will do whatever they must to be there for this person and want to show that they care by being their support system. ISTJs might not be emotionally expressive people and they don't like talking about their feelings at all but that doesn't mean they don't have ways of showing they care. When the ISTJ cares for someone, they are much more practical in the way they express this. They will do things for them. Whether this is little things like remembering to buy their favorite foods or taking out the garbage. Or sometimes bigger things like helping this person improve their lives and achieve their goals. ISTJs just want to be trustworthy and always support their partner when it comes to their romantic relationships. How about you as an ISTJ or any other personality type, how do you flirt or date? Be sure to watch until the end and share your experience for a chance to have your comment pinned. ISTJ when in a casual dating Casual dating is truly not rewarding for the ISTJ since they often feel like they are wasting their time and energy. They don't do things without having some sort of purpose in their actions. So casual dating can feel draining for the ISTJ. They don't want to spend time with people who understand them and rarely enjoy the idea of having to meet a bunch of new people. ISTJs stick to what they know and are comfortable with. Rather than constantly diving into new things unprepared, casual dating feels forced and unnatural and doesn't give them any sense of fulfillment. When the ISTJ dates someone, they want to take this seriously, in hopes of finding the person they are meant to be with. With casual dating, the ISTJ just feels like they're expanding energy on people they aren't happy to be around, and this just isn't enjoyable for them. Before we continue, if you enjoy the video, make sure to give us a like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the official Personality Guru for more amazing videos. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to stay updated with our content. How to attract the ISTJ ISTJs are attracted to people who are capable and intelligent. They are drawn to someone who has a strong sense of independence and who knows what they want from life. Confidence is a truly attractive quality for ISTJs and someone capable of standing by their convictions. A person who has this sense of purpose and direction is going to draw the ISTJ's attention. They enjoy being around people who are passionate as well and often want to learn more about them and who they are. Someone who the ISTJ can have an in-depth conversation without feeling bored or exhausted is going to be someone the ISTJ is interested. They become drained with most people. And so, someone who is overly emotional isn't enjoyable for the ISTJ to be around.